According to Ukraine's defense ministry, they have recently acquired foreign-made artillery systems and mortars. These include the Czech 152mm VZ.77 Dana self-propelled gun howitzer, the Slovak 155mm Susanna II self-propelled gun howitzer, the French 155mm TRF-1 towed howitzer, and the American 105mm M101 howitzer. Additionally, they have received approval for the Swedish 120mm M-41D mortar, as well as the 82mm EM-82 and Warrior 82 mortars to be used by the Ukrainian army. This marks a significant advancement in the supply system for Ukraine's armed forces. The process has been tested and is used to swiftly and efficiently integrate foreign ammunition and military equipment into service with the Ukrainian armed forces, as explained by Reznikov, Ukraine's defense minister. Importantly, there have been no delays in this process, even during wartime, thanks to the straightforward procedure that relies on NATO codes for the received weaponry. Since the majority of the provided weapons and military equipment already have NATO codes, they are adopted in Ukraine through orders issued by the Ministry of Defense, bypassing bureaucratic obstacles and streamlining the adoption process. This approach aligns with the needs of Ukraine's armed forces and is in line with the practices of their international partners. The Ministry of Defense of Ukraine highlights that since February 24, 2022, they have put 246 different types of weapons and military equipment into service and operational use in the armed forces, a significantly higher number than in any previous year since Ukraine's independence. This includes 82 different models of unmanned aerial systems. The responsibility for providing the army with these weapons and equipment lies with the Central Directorate for the provision of ground weapon systems within the Logistics Forces Command of the Ukrainian Armed Forces.